International Omaha is in its fifth year. Because of its success, we edged out cities like London and Hong Kong for another equestrian event coming next March. But for now, we're focused on next month. You'll see both Olympic disciplines of show jumping and dressage. And there's something unique about this competition compared to others in the Midwest. Mike West is the president of the Omaha Equestrian Foundation and Karen Cudmore owns Heartland Farm, which raises, trains, shows, and, and sells a lot of these performance yes. horses. Good to see it's both nice of you this morning. Here. Yes. Good morning. Good to so be here. the International Omaha, right? We've talked about this on our show before, but describe the competition. What are we going to see? Well, it's two days of jam-packed jumping and um, all ages of riders and horses. And uh, the, the peak of the, the show is probably jumping anywhere from meter 45 to meter 60 over, um, as you can see on the screen, huge jumps. Um, it's, the crowd is uh, quite close to the horses. They get to see them warm up, jump. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a lot of fun and it's... Um, you know, we compete for a lot of prize money. It's 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 just it's action packed. It's can, a lot of fun. Can you translate that to feet? <laughs> How feet? high are they jumping? Feet. Well, <coughs> we go with the meters now because right, it's right. just because it's international. European it is, for it sure. Is. International. Uh, you know, uh, four foot nine. Yeah. Five okay. foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and then they've got yeah. width, and it's not just the 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 height and the width. It's mm -hmm. the the difficulty of the placement of the jumps. Sure. So it gets quite technical on whether you're. You need to go fast or slow to fit your horse into that uh, particular line, um, which you can see on the screen there. Um, that's a short strided horse, so he he plans his course a little differently than maybe mm -hmm. a long strided course. So it's a it's a it's a brain game as well. Something like dressage. Uh, what does that entail? Well, that's uh, that's fancy flat work, mm -hmm. which is um, I feel really fancy just saying it. To be totally well, honest, well, you know, it it is a lot of work. <laughs> Uh -huh. Physical and mental for uh -huh. horse and rider. Um, they're not jumping, but uh, they perform the, the balance, the, the the just how broke they have these horses is incredible. Mm -hmm. And you know, this year you're going to see some really top level dressage horses coming into the leading into the World Cup. A lot of people want to get here and and get in the venue and practice. So. Mm -hmm. And this is an event for families too. I'm thinking kids, and you're not just sitting in the stands because you got a variety of these of uh, hands on recreational and, and educational activities that are going to be a part of this. Can you kind of go into detail oh, about that? Oh yeah, they'll be shopping, they'll be horses, they'll be they'll be on hand things for kids to do and and petting zoos. Um, you know I love that. Can they, yeah. Yeah. Can they like pet the horses? Them. You you can pet them. You can you can get close to the barns. You can meet a lot of people. Uh -huh. um, they they have tax stores that sell equipment. They have interesting food venues, lots of shopping. It's, it's, it's really fun. Like the, the, the family, it is a family affair. And I want to add two more things, live music yeah. and a military salute, which are new this year. Yeah, I don't, that'll at least, be great. I don't remember them being part. Mannheim Steamroller? We're hoping, yeah, that's, that's, he's, I know, yeah. it just keeps getting better. That's it so really cool. does, so, and, you know, chipping local, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a great, great thing for us to have them at this show. What does this mean, Mike, to the city of Omaha? Because I remember, more than five years ago when the announcement about the first year was made, how excited people were and what they said, like the economic impact for the city. And what does it mean to have this event in Omaha at CenturyLink Center? Well, number one, I think that it gives us an opportunity. If you go to the West Coast or the East Coast, you have a lot of what I would call top in competitions that are focused on fans and focused on bringing people in and creating the experience that we just talked about. I mean, if you go to a Nebraska football game, it is about spending time in the parking lot, hanging out with your friends, you know, maybe having a few suds and maybe, uh, maybe cooking some food. We're creating that in the vendor area mm -hmm. and you're going to be able to shop and you're going to be able to eat and you're going to be able to bring your kids to this great educational expo. And I think from if we do that the way they do it in different parts of the country, we can be the, the, the mecca of this industry within this region, which will draw people from Kansas City, will draw people from St. Louis, Chicago, Denver. We want to be that staple mm -hmm. in this industry um, for this region. Well, next year you're going to be drawing people from all over the world, right? Yep. That's the big one. <laughs> And I think over the last five years, it's kind of culminated to this event coming up next March. How has the International Omaha uh, prepped and gotten the city ready for that? It's not only just you know bringing people to Omaha, but the mentality of, of what this event is. 
Well, it, it, it is, it's amazing, and I, I, I don't know if everybody knows this, but I think we beat up Hong Kong and London. It was before I was involved with the organization, mm -hmm. but that, that alone says something. We haven't had anything from a, from a professional world championship. Mm -hmm. We haven't had a professional. We've had some title fights, and we have some other professional sports, but from a professional world championship point of view, we have not hosted that. We have obviously have a great portfolio of amateur mm -hmm. championships. So just to be able to do that and to draw people um, from all over the world, it, Omaha and Nebraska in general are very interesting to a lot of mm -hmm. Europeans, especially in Germany. So I think b them being able to come here, learn more about this part of the country mm -hmm. is going to be really fun and very interesting and I hopefully a lot of people internationally will show up. The World Cup is next March. Yep. The International is next month, May 5th, 6th, and 7th at CenturyLink Center. All the details are online. So some of what we covered here, but we certainly didn't get to all of it, um, but you'll be able to access that information online at internationalomaha.com. Great to have yeah, you. Thanks for coming. Karen, you've us. competed internationally. We look forward to talking to you about that in the near future. Yeah, okay. We'd love it. Yeah. Yeah. Have you back certainly before the World Cup. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, it's be awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Uh, there's